today we're going to look at turbos and why they fail. The first is overspeeding. Overspeeding is a condition where the turbo is spun past its max RPM limit. This can be caused by a number of malfunctions in the turbo system. First is an inconsistent airflow to the turbo. Second is an engine modifications. Third is an incorrect turbo installation. Four is a failed VNT, a variable nozzle turbine mechanism. And five is wastegate set incorrectly. This can result in the back of the compressor wheel deforming the compressor wheel rubbing, or the compressor wheel disintegration. Next is oil contamination or lack of oil. Oil contamination and or lack of oil are two more causes of turbo failures. Turbos require a clean, consistent flow of oil to maintain proper function. The causes of these conditions are due to the following. A damaged oil filter, improper oil used, oil leaks, plugged oil feed or drain lines, and degraded oil due to poor maintenance. These conditions result in damage to the bearings, seals, turbo shaft, and thrust components of the turbo. Next is overheating. Overheating of a turbo can result in premature failure and breakdown of lubricated oils and seals. Overheating is caused by excessive high exhaust temps and or lack of sufficient cooling. Causes of these conditions are as follows. Hot stops or hot shutdowns. Tuning incorrect on the engine. DPF issues and exhaust restrictions. Overheating conditions can usually be detected by discoloration or blurring, bluing, sorry, of internal components such as thrust washers and internal compressor wheels and exhaust turbine shafts. And next is foreign object damage. Just like it sounds, foreign object damage happens when an object enters the turbo from outside of the turbo, either from exhaust side or the intake side. This could be debris from intake, like nuts, bolts, environmental debris. Could be ice from cold temps that accumulate in intake tubes. And it can be debris from exhaust side, like broken valves, pieces of piston, and injector tips. Foreign object damage results in damaged compressor and exhaust wheels, turbine housing damage, and wheel shaft breakage. And here are some preventive measures to take. Properly maintain oil lubrication system and regular oil changes. Proper inspection of turbo when engine work is performed. When replacing the turbo, you must inspect, clean, and or replace oil feed lines and drain lines. When replacing a turbo, prime the new turbo with fresh oil before installation. Make sure to inspect all intake tubes and air filters for proper function and no debris. Avoid hot stops on turbos. And if vehicle or machine is equipped with DPF, be sure the DPF is maintained properly and not plugged. If you need any more help, you can call us at 716-293-2939.